This morning during my devotional time, I read something that I'd like to read to you from the late Reuben Job, a former United Methodist pastor and prolific writer. Something that I think is very important for us to remember this time of year. So I invite you to hear these words that he writes. As Christians, we live by faith in God and we carry within us the notorious hope that a life of faithfulness is indeed the best way to live. Our hope is that fidelity and faithfulness will result in a holy life and the comforting companionship of Jesus Christ. The rewards of peace and assurance of continued companionship with God and the life to come belong to every faithful Christian. We hope for that which we do not see. And as the book of Hebrews says, faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen. The promise of this ordinary life can be invested in the extraordinary reign of God today and tomorrow is the hope that encourages us to do what we can where we are to make God's will known and real. When disease, disaster, death, or triumph strike, we are filled with hope because our ultimate trust is in God. Our worlds and wealth may crumble, disease and disaster may lay hold on what and whom we value, but followers of the Christian way continue to be hopeful. We hold on to hope because we are filled with faith that God is able to consummate the promise made to redeem and transform all who turn their lives toward God. I think Reuben Job is correct. Right now in a time like this with so many uncertainties, we have to hang on to that which is certain. The certainty of God in Jesus Christ for us, that God will never leave us nor forsake us, is something we claim, we remind ourselves of over and over again. We take this one day at a time, and we hang on to the truth that God is with us. God bless you. Amen.